Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vak Cameron from Dreamlight. Welcome to this quick overview of IRA HDR Magic's fashion lights. This is my newest light set for Dash Studio IRA, and if you're into fashion studio photography, although in 3D, you're up for a treat. This is the best light set I've ever created, specifically designed for fashion renders. So. This is going to be a quick introduction. I'm not going to dive into too much detail. So I simply want you to just, once you open this up, just get straight into it and get the most out of it. Now, upon loading, it's ready to render. So here I just throw in a uh, female model, Genesis 3 female, with a chair. And this is how it looks straight off the bat. No adjustment made whatsoever. Now. The first thing that you need to understand is this light set is made of three components. One of them is the background, the dots, if you will, the, the gradient and the floor and all that. This is obviously a 360 degree uh, background, so it you know will accompany your models wherever you choose to view it from. Uh, this particular background has some settings you can find all the controls in Dash Studio formats, My Dash Library, Live Presets, Dreamlight, iRay, iRay HDR Magics. So first of all, you got the preload all icon, you got main iRay render preset. If you get lost at some point and your settings are uh, you know off the charts, you can just click on that to just get you know everything back to working. Now all the other presets here are divide in, in different sections um, one is the background shape which you can find at the very bottom here pattern one two three four five so you can at any time just click here and change the patterns the pattern is kind of an overhead you know light or dome so to speak that not only is there for the the cool patterns that are you know present but it also illuminates your scene at the same time and there's different patterns for different scenes this is quite cool this, this with the with the lines and when it comes to these backgrounds once you load them there is a lot of adjustments you can make this one here is a little bit more laid back there is some adjustments you can make so after you have loaded this one you can go to render settings and in the environment here you can control some of the settings um, first of all there is this intensity environment map intensity below that it will naturally tone down the background and have less lighting you know coming from that part of the image but that is independent on the light which i'm going to cover in, in a moment right so obviously you can also rotate the dome. So you go to dome rotation, you can apply a rotation to the dome itself. That will rotate the pattern in the back or overhead in the ceiling, so to speak, right? So this is quite cool. Another thing you can do, uh, you can switch to dome mode, fin it, and it will kind of change the colors here a little bit for you. Kind of, kind of like a gradient play. Quite cool back to infinite here's the some other icons you can click on which is the colors of the background so cyan green gray obviously now there's a difference between gray and monochrome uh, gray changes the the background to gray but the light is still in color right if you click on all monochrome it will make everything black and white and also increase the contrast darken the black levels a little bit so back here you can just get into color mode again. So you got my magenta, you got uh, orange, red, and so forth. Now as soon as you make these changes, you can always go into render settings and further adjust them in tone mapping. So for instance, let's say, well I like the red, but it's a little bit too red, okay? So there is a few things you can do. First you can just play with the color here and just nudge it down to a more white-ish version. Another thing you can do 
is play with the saturation obviously if you lower that that will obviously lower the color that would kind of lower everything right okay cool so let's choose black uh, blue sorry and here's the th here's the thing this um and like i said it's it's ready to render out of the box so you just you know point the camera and let it render it's it's that easy right now thing is this additional light that's you know um placed there on the side this light you can turn it off so you simply go here and click on light center expand and in here you got the hdr light so there is some you know uh information here um which i'm going to just cover in a second but click on this eye icon will turn off the light and just render through the hdr background only clicking that back on again will initiate the light again so this light is made of two components one of them is the light center which you can rotate on the y-axis to orbit the light or you can scale it to move the light away so let's do that wire rotate simply orbits the, the light around your character pretty neat don't need to do anything just you know rotate it place it anywhere you like whatever that works for your particular scene if you're annoyed by the light itself don't want it to be there at all what you can do is scale which will move the light away all right you can also do vice versa move it closer as you move it very close it's gonna become smaller all right so you can have a local target effect if you will and obviously you also have um if you click here you can play with y position which is y translate and move the line up and down and you know just have it exactly where you want it to be you can also obviously rotate it but it's quite easier to use the tool rotational tool over here to make those changes so you can you know rotate this light around any way you like cool this light has a very quick fade off so it doesn't affect the floor too much it may, it's mainly made for character lighting so it doesn't you know interfere with the floor too much all right so other than that you've got a cool feature which is the fog so the fog is over here it has dual components just as the light uh, first of all we can turn it off that's the foggy effect that you know behind there turn it back on selecting this fog center you can rotate it on the y-axis for orbiting or y position for move up and down so let's do that we can rotate the fog effect around we just make different you know foggy elements so to speak and we can move it up and down to position the fog anywhere you like now what you also can do is while you have the fog selected it says here in surfaces tab cutout opacity is equals visibility okay so click on surfaces click here now you got the cutout opacity which is here default 0 0.5 so you can lower that to 0 0.2 for less fog or you know crank it up to 1 for maximum fog and this fog is kind of black if you want color on it there is a way to get color you just simply choose a mission color whatever color you want and you will then turn up the luminance but it's, it's mainly made to be uh, you know dark you can also click on uh, two-sided light that will indeed create some additional effects um, and it's up to you if you want to have them but I mean this fog is just made for background elements it's not really made to be part of the scene but you can play with it if you choose to so that's it I'm gonna now set it back to 0 0.5 all right you got here a quick expand for info just you know eye icon inside the light fog center like I said these two quickly disable the light and fog and you also have change light color inside the surface tab which we just covered a moment ago so a 
you know, quick. Th that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. And the thing about lighting is you don't want to, you know, project this additional light from the front. It's, it's mainly made to be from the side or from, you know, from the back because it you know it it accents the characters and provides very nice lighting on, on the side but you can use it straight ahead and also while doing so you can indeed you know adjust its opacity uh, sorry uh, intensity uh, obviously choose the color here as well you can have a more greenish light or whatever color you want and you can control the intensity here with the luminous value to whatever you want to have. Often, you, if you aim the light straight at a model, you want to lower it, and vice versa. If you have the light a little bit from the behind, it's coming at a more steep angle, so that's where you can really crank it up uh, a little bit more. So this background is really made to, you know. For you to play with, uh, to aim the camera in such a fashion that you indeed, you know, take advantage of the background and make it part of your image and your composition. Besides that, there is a few general things you can do if you want to. In the tone mapping, you can set an overall ISO value, which is just how bright everything is supposed to be, kind of the main slider. It controls this. If you increase this, it will have uh, you know higher impact on the background and the light at the same time all right so you can crank these up as much as you like until you get the desired effect what you also can do once in here while in here you can play with the vignetting it's set to one by default you can turn it off or you can just you know increase that quite heavily to kind of frame the image with a little bit of black edges so to speak so that's something you can play with all right further on so this is a render, straight render from dash studio no you know post work at all it's it's calibrated and and you know designed to create outstanding looking renders straight off the bat carefully designed uh with you know gradients tonings and all that that just looks stunning what you can do while you're playing with it you, you know you can use crushed blacks increase that that will force a more contrast ish look if you will or lower that a little bit if you want a little bit less of that so that's something you can adjust and play with more iso more punch um, what you also can do is, is you can do burn highlights if you have if you increase this value you will kind of let the highlights you know uh, bleed out a little bit or you can lower this value to kind of minimize that effect it's up to you how you want to play it and saturation you can go wild with this you can actually increase saturation uh, for more vivid colors right uh, straight render from dash to you know post look at all guys so the saturation you can also like i said go black and white right and while doing black and white you can increase crush blacks to one a little bit more contrast you can also go negative and in doing so you will just get a little bit awkward colors which can be cool if you choose to right all right so pretty much guys this is it i uh, just want to show you how quickly you can use it remember to use the hdr light for side or backlighting effect uh, to accent your model you know give it a little bit more depth and definition don't put you know, the lights from the front I use the background just for for playing, um, you know, for, for play playful effects in the background, so to speak. So, guys, this is pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead, pick this up, have some fun, and I'll see you next time.